Hi folks, welcome to segment eight of our video series where we talk about placing and answering calls. Now this is most likely one of the most common hands-free things that you're going to do in your vehicle. As always, there's more than one way to do this, either with the steering wheel controls or with that touch screen. But both have them actually have their benefits and if you're like me, you'll find yourself using both of them uh, every single day. So let's cover the steering wheel wave first and this is perfect when you just want to make a call from one of your main contacts in your address book or just by saying the number. Now on our IntelliLink and MyLink systems, it's quite easy to do. This latest color connected radio allows you to use a simple voice command of dial or call, as in call home or call John Smith at work. Just by saying that command call, the system automatically connects to your phone's address book. But on all of our touchscreen systems, you can also dial by telling the system the entire number as well. This is what I want to demonstrate right now. Now, like we've shown you in previous videos, it all starts by pressing that voice command button on the steering wheel. So let me walk you through this. Please say a command. Dial. Please say a phone book name. You may also say a number and then say dial. 905. 555-1234. Okay, it's pretty easy, and since I don't want to actually want to <laughs> don't want to make a call right now, I'm just gonna press that hang up button on the steering wheel. Now the point is that the whole process is pretty easy. I just press the button and start talking. And you can say call John Smith or say dial and then say the actual numbers like we did there. So depending what you have in your address book, you can kind of play with it and you're going to see how easy it really is. Now when you have an incoming call, you will actually see the number show up on your screen. If it is a number from your address book, the name will show up as well, making it very easy for you to see who it is. Now if you have the time or if it's safe to answer, you can just press that voice command button on the steering wheel to answer it. If you don't have the time to talk right now, just press that mute button or the hang up button below the voice command to ignore the call. If you have a voicemail on your phone, that call will actually be transferred automatically to your voicemail. Now the same is true for the touch screen. You can press the answer or the decline with just one touch there as well. Now, most of the time that I use the phone, I do it with the steering wheel control buttons. Uh, it's just easier since the buttons are literally at your fingertips when you're driving. But you may have to dial someone from your address book and you can't remember exactly how you entered them in. So it's tough to do that voice command. You can't just say call because you can't remember exactly how the name is in there. Now, instead of picking up your cell phone while you're driving, which is not only illegal across the country, but also more dangerous with such a small screen. You can access all of your phone features and the address information right from the touch screen. Remember, much like your radio, you can actually access the phone just by pressing that phone button. Okay, Pressing that icon from your homepage brings up all the information that you need for your phone. Now, with the vehicle in park, you can actually access uh, a phone keypad uh, where you can enter the number and enter all that information in. While moving, that feature is not available. For now though, I'm going to just press that back button and come back to this main area and look at some of the other options. Now on the phone menu screen, you'll actually see the phone book option and that will actually bring up your entire phone book, all your entries that you have on your phone alphabetically. Now you can scroll up and down using the arrows on the left or again you can use the menu button on the side. And what you're looking at here is you can actually just select anything from your address book and you're all ready to go. Now pressing the back, I want to come back to this main screen. If somebody just called you, you may not have them in your address book, but they would have shown up in one of your missed calls. So you have that call log on your phone, you actually now have the call list on your touch screen. So you can actually access any of your recent calls just by going to the call list. Whether it was incoming, outgoing, or any missed calls, that information will actually be right there.
There are actually a lot of other commands and features built into this system that allow you to interact with your phone calls. Just refer to your owner's manual under the phone section to learn more, but it'll talk about things like voicemail, an extension, conference call, and a lot of other things, including OnStar. For now though, be sure to watch one of the other videos that walk you through this new touchscreen, including uh, playing USB, Bluetooth media, and some great features like Stitcher. For now, thanks for watching.